keep forgetting, I can't do that. I don't know, should I talk should I talk for honor during Tekken? I feel like I should. But you know what? This is my stream. I do whatever the fuck I wanna do. But uh pretty much I forgot if it was you underpowered that put me on to this beef between uh Archmage and uh Spliced and Kinzo. Was that you? Yeah. So Archmage posted a video today that pretty much gave me all the information around it. Dude, I I, I don't like the For Honor community, man. I'm looking for a community that I can embrace, man. Is that this pussy law bringer strat beef we're talking about? Yeah. Call it like pus pussy law bringer strat, right? But my beef isn't with the strat itself, it's that it's just another rule. Like, people are saying he can't do that. That's pretty much what it is. Like, they're calling it an exploit. They're calling it a fucking exploit. That's right, Queen Bitch Magnus. <laughs> QBM. What did I say? Isn't that what I said? Not next voice attack thing. It's pussy shit. What's actually exactly like? It's not like like the most flashy way to play Lawbringer, but when you look at Splice's um, video explaining why he does it and who he does it on, yeah, motherfucker. What's better than what's 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 to be done? He said he uses it against Highlander, Gladiator, and Warlord. Warlord actually did this uh, strategy well before any of this shit happened. But then you've got like Arch Arch Wizard. Oh, Archmage. Well, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Archmage. No, what? No, I'm not gonna disrespect the guy that way. Arch Wizard. I'm just call him CJ. Fucking CJ. He's one of those like For Honor players who is like really smug. He's like, yo, I'm better than you, blah blah blah. But he doesn't actually actively say it. And then he kind of like puts these rules on the community. Like you can't two v one in brawls. You can't pop revenge. You can't ledge. Play my way, but if you don't, you're toxic. You're cancer. It's like, I die. Um, and so, Splice went, went against Kenzo, because I finally saw the actual match footage. And uh, it's pretty much, he, Kenzo was playing, I think, Warden. And Splice was, oh no, he was playing, He play, Kenzo played Highlander, hard counter to Lawbringer. Conqueror, hard counter to Lawbringer. Warden, hard counter to damn near everybody. And he did the strat against them and he lost. And now they're like, he's exploiting. He's a disgrace. Like, I don't like people like that. I don't like people like that. Let's see. It's basically timer scamming. When you think about it, it makes sense. So he runs the clock. Is that what's happening as well? Like, cause like the gist of what I got was he's pissed that he's using this strat. So he gets a hit in and then he runs the clock. Is that what you're saying? He shouldn't have done it to Kenzo though. Like why not? Like they said they were friends, right? Don't do it to friends. More rules, homie code. Oh, and the thing that triggered me the most is I thought CJ was a loyalist. I thought he played Valkyrie when she was at her worst. But his logic is if you want to compete, don't play who you like. Play a top tier character. Like, damn, dude. You don't you don't you don't feel like you should compete with whoever you like you're rolling with? Nah, fuck that, man. 
It's part of the game, it's not an exploit, because they're comparing the Lawbringer strat to the Warden one-shot. Nigga! <laughs> what? <laughs> like, Lawbringers can't get a, can't catch a break. We find a way to defeat uh, a character who can literally back light attack and then just 50-50 us to death. We find a way out of it. Fucking heathen! Warden one shot! <laughs> Kenzo's a friend. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'll say, listen, I am not saying that this Lawbringer strat is like fine. Like, not, I'm not saying that this strat is bad morally, but listen, the friends of Chris G. Right? If y'all know who Chris G is, he played Phoenix in Marvel vs. Capcom. So he played a Phoenix team, and then he played, uh, I forgot who it was. Oh, he played Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he played Morgan, and his tactic was considered grimy and scummy within, like, the Marvel vs. Capcom community. But no one called it an exploit, right? It's like, God damn it, he's zoning the shit out of me, right? No one likes dealing with that. I guarantee you all of his friends had to deal with that shit. <laughs> you know? Uh, think of Filipino champ. Motherfucker played Dawson in Street Fighter. Really well. But no one likes to deal with Dawson. And that bullshit. <laughs> right? Like, I bet you all of his friends dealt with that shit. Yeah, like, I did try to do it to Thomas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted I wanted to try I wanna try Pussy Lawbringer. But pretty much like I would do that against Lawbringer. I already do it against Lawbringer. What I do against Lawbringer as anybody is I appro I do one of two things. I approach the the Highlander um, and try to parry the light as he does his backlight, or I faint like I'm gonna approach him so he does his backlight. Get him in his offensive stance, fall back just a little bit to make him take like a step forward, and in that instance, I charge him. Where I gather they get a hit and then run away. Yeah, I, I, I saw the I saw the footage of of Splice playing like in that way, like he wouldn't start the match um, until he felt an in. But the gameplay that I saw was against Conqueror, right? It was against his Conqueror. What the fuck is a Lawbringer supposed to do against a Conqueror? Get in the Conqueror's face? Is that what you want Lawbringer to do? Oh, no, no, no. What they want him to do is don't play Lawbringer. Play Shaman. Play Conqueror too. Play Warden. Like, are you kidding me? Fuck that. Nah, I'm OG. If anything, that like inspired me to never stop playing Lawbringer. I don't care what, I mean, I was never gonna stop playing Lawbringer, but. Now I'm like Omega proud because the world, like people look up to this guy. The world is saying Lawbringer's bad. Solution, don't play Lawbringer. That was the that was the beef that I had with uh, Spliced or Boss Phoenix. I can't remember which one of them. I, I think it was Spliced who was like, oh no, my character sucks. Guess I'm gonna play this guy now. You pussy. You pussy. <laughs> Now you see me, even I'm like, yo, Glad, Glad's kind of weak in Dominion, but I'm still playing the motherfucker, man. You gotta make it work for you. The dude that switched from Valk to Kensei. No, he went, um, well, no. Archwizard CJ did go Kensei, I think. I think he did go Kensei. LB versus Highland is such a hard fight anyway. You have to do what you can. See, yes. That's what I'm saying. These people are built to compete. Like they're like the dude uh, CJ used tournament footage of a Shigoki versus a Conqueror doing this tech. He's like, that's actual tournament footage. CJ, why do you think they're doing that, CJ? Why do you think they're doing that? It's tournament, and you're talking about a ranked environment. No shit, he's gonna play to win. Like, <laughs> like NBA, sports, football, basketball. What do motherfuckers do? Um, when there's not enough time left to make like significant plays, or they did use their time to make things, they hold, they hold the clock, they run the clock, man. Clock tech, part of the fucking game, man. You don't like it, I get it, but fuck my life, dude. Fucking equating it to the 
the warden's like one shot glitch exploit? Really? Coming from the guy who's like, yo, don't ledge me. So you want me to dumb down my senses to adhere to some gentleman's code? Fuck no. If I get ledged, that hey, you mixed me up in a time where I had to get mixed up and it fucking sucks. If you got a problem with ledging, then have a problem with Lawbringer. Or not Lawbringer. Uh, Highlander. Have a problem with Warden. Conqueror. Kensei. Peacekeeper. All these 50-50 motherfuckers. But you don't. You think that's part of the game. But you don't think a Lawbringer turning a weakness into a strength. That's blasphemy. And the world is backing him. And that pisses me off. Me with sand. What do you mean? You dropping your sand now, Peacekeeper? Well, you didn't start with Centurion, though. You started with Peacekeeper and went to sand, which was a dumb mistake, by the way. Should have stuck with Peacekeeper. This play was fun, to be honest. I don't really care about tears. It helps that what I like happens to be good, though. <laughs> I just don't have fun with PK. Fair enough. Are you having fun with Centurion? That's what's up. Don't you win this money online? Money and like rank. Like they're dismissing they're dismissing ranked mode, right? They're dismissing the fact that to a lot of people rank does matter. So much so that people disconnect. Value is not something that is predetermined. Value is placed by those who use the currency. So guess what? The community has spoken. They care about rank and they are willing to do whatever it takes to win. And some of us are good people. So we'll do whatever it takes to win without cheating and without disconnecting. Guess who found the line? Spliced. Guess who's been doing that well before Splice did that shit? Shigoki. Warlord. Conqueror does it with Empty Dash. Who else does it? There's somebody else who does it. Like fucking, um... You know what? I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say some bold ass shit. Orochis do it. Peacekeepers do it. Wardens do it. Kensei do it. Who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, anybody who uses a fast attack knowing that it's unreactable. All of those motherfuckers are doing exactly what Splice is doing. Because all those fast ass zone attacks are only that fast online. Those attacks aren't that fast when you go against bots. So you are exploiting the fact that your attacks are mathematically faster than what they are intended to be. So you know what? All you motherfuckers are exploiters. Y'all should all be equated to fucking one-shot wardens. All of you zone spamming motherfuckers. Or not even spamming, just using. Like, I know I missed somebody. Who did I miss? Who did I miss? I'm gonna go down the list again. Warden. Peacekeeper. Gladiator. Uh, well, not. Mm, yeah, Gladiator. His lights. His lights are slower against boss. Gladiator. Mm, Warlord. Valkyrie. Mm, Shaman. Orochi. Nobushi. Uh, Aramusha. Shinobi. That's like 90%. That's like 90% of the cast. Yo, fuck me. Yo. Oh my god. But no, when Lawbringer does something, when Lawbringer, whose best move is his top light, when he's like, nah, fuck that, I'm gonna utilize my tech to counteract some of this bullshit. He then! <laughs> Why am I, I've, I'm defending Spliced. I never thought I would do this. But fuck my life, man. And you know what, you know what pisses me off too? He didn't stand up for himself. When he got confronted, he was like, well, I guess I'll just apologize 
Well, I guess I don't. I don't know why I did. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to hit Grandmaster. But I don't know. Like fucking stand up for yourself. Jesus, fuck. You made your choice. Live with it. You tell us some motherfuckers like, yo, man, that shit's scummy. All right, but am I cheating though? No, you're not cheating, but you're doing some scumbag tactics. Do you consider ledging to be scumbag? Yeah. Do you consider 2v1s to be scumbag? Yeah. Do you consider popping revenge in brawls scummy? Yeah. Then we have different standards. I appreciate your opinion. I respect you for coming to me like a man, but my point stands. I'm gonna do what I do because I value winning in ranked without cheating. That's my line. My line is do what it takes without cheating and then if you lose, you will be a sourpuss when you're playing fucking Warden, when you're playing fucking Conqueror, when you're playing fucking Peacekeeper, when you're playing fucking Highlander. Fuck out of my face. And then on top of that, the guy who was trying to take the moral high ground called uh, Spliced like a, a something, like a, an atrocious faggot or some shit. Nigga! <laughs> like, what? So now you're just personally attacking the motherfucker. All the while, CJ's trying to be like, oh, I'm bringing you facts, but he's just a piece of shit. Like, this, this is, and like people are saying, yo, fucking CJ is the hero that the For Honor community deserves, motherfucker. He's toxic. I said it out the gate. Like, I, I, I saw his videos. I thought it was cool how he was exposing like other salty motherfuckers, but every time I'm like, but you're kind of like a douchebag too, though. You're like just a douchebag exposing another douchebag, but your edits are nice and you 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 speak eloquently, but you're like an eloquent douchebag who has these guidelines. Cause that's my main beef in For Honor. My main beef in For Honor is uh, people who set up these arbitrary rules to follow, like legend. Soul Calibur 6 just came out. Let's see if ledging is a universal no-no in a world with ledges. Nope. <laughs> How many sig free players are you seeing in Soul Calibur doing the impale move, his throw pretty much, that just tosses him, like pretty much a better version of long arm, just fucking tosses you out the ring. Ain't no one bad an eye. You know why? It's in the game and we're competing. We are both aware of the environment. We're both playing at a high level. I'm not gonna place that handicap on you. Don't you place that handicap bullshit on me. Weak. Weak. And they wanna talk about like, they wanna pull rank and shit. Diamond two, motherfuckers. Diamond two. I feel like I have a leg in this race. Not diamond two with, with Lawbringer though. That's nuts. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Can't do it with Lawbringer. But I am competitive. Dude, I like saw white. I didn't even pay attention to the chat. My bad. Hold on. Uh, I feel like people are just upset because they know Lawbringer doesn't have the best of tools and they expect the free win. And as soon as he finds a way to compete, they don't like it. Yeah, you know why? It's because people are salty. People are mad at Lawbringer for having bombs and, and 4v4. And that was something that I was thinking about the other day. Like, people are pissed off about Lawbringers having, like, bombs. His bombs is his tier four feet. So how the fuck is he getting to tier four? Tell me, how's he doing it? <laughs> He's beating your ass. And Lawbringer ain't so good at beating people's ass at a one-to-one -one ratio. So it's just bad players setting fucking stupid ass guidelines and rules, man. Tier three bomb, oh yeah, that, that single bomb. You know what the sad thing is? is that bombs are good for like AOE damage, but it hurts everybody, right? Like, I, I can't believe I gotta defend bombs. I know you're you're joking, but people actually are, would use that argument. Like, yo, fucking, he's got like a tier three bomb. Let's just take a look at everybody else's tier threes, right? I can only speak for the people that I know, but you got a heal ability, which heals a bomb's worth of damage and negates bleed effects. You've got the Centurion's, uh, was it Pugio? You got the Gladiator's um, uh, Trident Toss, Valkyrie Spear Chuck. Uh, what else? What else? You got. Uh, there's one more. There's like one more big one. 
forget what it is. Pugio and the catapult. Pugio and the catapult's overkill though. Like that is a gross over. That's a that's grossly overkill. What you should do is Pugio combo, knock them down, and then catapult. At least you style on them a little bit. You don't just Pugio in the catapult. That's weak. <laughs> When they're knocked down, then you catapult them because you're sending a message. 